Have you ever met somebody who's like better than you who's learned Japanese? No. I'm the best in the game. Twenty minutes later. Nihongo ga kushusa. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> What's up, Kuro Kurasawa? Welcome back to the podcast. So, this week we talked to Kaiwa Coaching, who was mentioned in the last podcast. So, if you haven't seen that podcast, Yuma Lee says that she's actually met a person who's achieved native level, and that person is Kaiwa Coaching. So, on this podcast, we're talking to Kaiwa Coaching and we're getting to the bottom of whether or not he's truly native level. Yuma Lee also passed me a message to tell you guys as well to absolutely destroy the like button so you guys know what to do as well as following us on twitter and and then you might be able to get to native level because we get into the secrets of native level that's yeah. right but is he native <laughs> watch to find out watch to find out that's right all right so kaiwa can you give us a quick background of who you are and where you're at today uh okay so i have learned japanese for 10 years um ever since i was 13 same as dog as well because he started 13 as well um, I started learning when I was in high school, not really high school, secondary school, because in Malaysia, we have like um, um, a secondary school system instead of a high school. Um, in America, I have like a high school and junior high school and senior high school. There you go, like koko and chugako, mitaina. So um, I learned five years in my school, and um, I would say that I learned a lot from anime more than my curricular system, I guess. Um, so I was one of the fastest to get fluent in high school. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my teacher was like, how, how the hell did you do that? And I'm like, I just watch anime, bro. And, mm-hmm. uh, and then I learned another two years in in tech education college. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember because not much pleasant memories right there. <laughs> um, two years taking from zero until N2 for six, no, for two years. Um, including with the scientific language because we have to go like Koto Senmongako, like uh, National Institute of Technology, which I spent uh, three years. So right now I'm in my new university right now uh, for another two years um, taking engineering. But I hate engineering. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the IT, man. I really hate IT. So um, I end up going through this way, which is, you know, doing Kaiwa coaching and stuff. Yeah. Since um, August last year. So it has been six months to seven months yeah okay yeah one of the reasons um really want to talk to you is because after talking to yumeli he uh she said that you're at a native level for japanese but what do you think about that statement that hats again um i don't i don't i i i'm usually in a tug of war within myself like i don't know if i'm native or not i i'm confident to say it's nearing native as just as like me with my English, I guess. Like, I have more confidence in my English, though. But I still don't think it's native level. So, I ha- I feel the same thing for my Japanese as well. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's my insecurity or, or what. But, yeah. you know, I still I still have, like, uh, doubts of my Japanese. Until now. Um, but two days ago, um, it's new uh, Gakuhi. What do you call that? Uh, entrance. Going into university. Yeah, yeah the entrance day. Um, I talk with a lot of people. I got, like, three to four guys. Like three or four people ask me like, how long have you been staying in Japan? And I'm like, three years. Wait, like I was told that a lot of times. I'm like, yeah, I got that a lot. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do get some people confused that I'm a native or not. So I guess at diff- you know, with different people, people can see me as native. Some people can see me as not native. Mm-hmm. But if I were try to look at myself, I would say I'm not native yet. It's, it's going there. Do you think there's like some part that makes it like bareru? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know why. That's the problem. Uh, like, I, I sometimes scrutinize myself when I look at back at my recordings. If you guys saw my recording on Twitter, like I was talking about uh, Hanami. Mm-hmm. And then, because Hanami, like... For example, the pitch accent is like, it's not heibang, mm-hmm. it's like odaka, so it's like hanami ga instead of hanami ga. So it's like, I, I did the hanami ga part, like the heibang part, and I was like, damn, I was such an idiot. And so, yeah, I think I think from that, it, it definitely bareru. Mm. I can last like well, five minutes tricking Japanese people though. I feel like <laughs> a Cinderella reaching the 12th midnight. So, so Kaiwa, are you a professional at shocking Japanese people then? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, come on. I'm not white enough. <laughs> I yeah, need to be that white no shock. man shocking, yeah. shocking <laughs> natives. I, I hope I can be, but I guess it's hard because like there's not many Malaysians who 
really pop out, I guess.、Mm. You know, I think I'm the first Malaysian you guys brought to the podcast, at least in my knowledge. Right. So it's like it's really. I'm not saying like there's a race factor in it. I, I just think that there's a shock, more shock value when there's like a white dude, like a super white dude,、right. who speaks really white, and then they they sound really native Japanese. I think there's more shock value to that.、Yeah. It will be less shocking if I were to do it. Kind of, yeah. yeah. No, I think you can shock through the to the time thing because I definitely like when I was in Japan, it was like the first year I was like learning, and I could already speak、yeah. like by the end of my study abroad, and I'd be like. Oh, like Kotoshi Kara Ben Kishi Jimeta, you know, and then they were like、mm-hmm. really, really shocked. Like they were just blown away. Like when I say I just started <laughs> like learning this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, that I should. Yeah, I should be able to do that as well. I don't know. <laughs> every time you go up to someone, just say you you started learning Japanese this month. This is every time、yeah. maximum <laughs> shock value. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> I I said that I was three years, and they were like, "So, like, you know, that's not Uso, man. Come on, I've been three. I've been here for three years. I have to be able to be, you know, to this level." Yeah.、Right. But every time, yeah, it's always the same flow. They would ask me like, you know, how long have you learned? How long have you stayed in Japan? I would say three years, and they're like, "How can you get this, you know, really good in three years?" And I'm like, "No, actually, I've learned ten years." And they were like, "Oh, not the good ekiru." At first, if, if I don't、I、say、see. the ten years, they're gonna stay and you know complete disbelief. So I, I、right. should probably. Yeah, you don't want to shock them too much. You're like you might get. Yeah, you want to have a, be able to have a conversation yeah. with them. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want them to feel so low. So, yeah. yeah. I was talking to one of my roommates that day, and he still can't believe it. I'm like, "Dude, come on! Like, if you talk to me more than twenty minutes, you probably can tell. You know, at this point, right?、But、I have my threshold. So yeah." Right, right. Was, was there yeah, like, but, was there like something like、um, special that you did in your method for studying Japanese? Y- you know, when I was thirteen, I don't really like. Right now, we have a lot, you know, high speed internet, and people can tell them, you know, how to, you know, Anki or immersion and stuff like that. Personally, myself, I didn't know what to do. I just watched a lot of anime, like super a、mm-hmm. lot. So I watch、um, One Piece, I watch Naruto, I watch、uh, Bleach. Maybe when I say a lot, it's to myself. It's not really, you know, a lot compared to like other people what they think of.、Um, and so I just keep watching it. I, I I really don't know when I got like good with it. Just just how like I do with my English as well.、Mm-hmm. I became fluent when I was twelve in English. I was talking to my English teachers, and they're like, "You can give an appropriate response to our question." So now you're fluent. I mean, not native, obviously.、Um, And so with Japanese, it's the same thing as well. I didn't know when I actually hit fluency、right. until when people start to like, like for example, one day I was trying to enter a hotel、um, for one night, and I was talking with the people at the counter, and I was like、um, talking and stuff, and he was like, you know, namayo kaite kudasai, and then I was like, okay, I'm I'm daikokujin desu kudo, naka romaji de i desu ka, and he was like, wait. Where is the foreigner? Is like he was trying to search for it, right? Right. And I'm like, no, it's me. And it's like, oh, oh, Nihongo Jose this then, and I got Jose started. <laughs> well, <laughs> and、um, yeah, I just don't, that's when I know that I actually did something right、mm-hmm. when I was in the hotel. So yeah, I special methods, nothing much. I I think just pure immersion. If something that stands out, it's it's probably talking to a wall. I did that a lot when I was. Um, thirteen. So I I use the knowledge I have from my selective Japanese class, and I would talk to the wall、hmm. a lot of times, and I would use what the phrases that I talk to the wall to my teachers. Yeah, that's my special method, I guess. Oh, so like, would you record yourself and have like your teachers analyze your speech, or did you actually just like talk to the wall, and then no, there's no like feedback about that. No, there's no feedback. I just I talk to the wall. I use what I. Used to talk to my teacher, so she's kind of my mirror or something,、mm-hmm. and so I didn't really record myself or shadowing. Yeah, nothing. Don't do you think that that would be like potentially negative consequences because like you don't know if you're saying something correctly, like pitch accent or grammar or even if it's natural. I I think it we would have a negative consequence. Yeah. But I was lucky because I didn't get much of it. Maybe I did get something、um, from doing too much output with a wall without a feedback.、Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think there were some right negative consequences. And, and, yeah, and when you spoke to wall, was there an anime poster at the wall? Or no, it was nothing. <laughs>、uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 
I was not born with a silver spoon with my mouth in in my mouth, you know, because we're not from a very you know rich family, so I don't really have anything on my wall. Yeah, so internet wise as well, like back in the days, one megabyte per second was really fast. I still remember. Right, right, man. I guess you have to. It's part of the imagination. You can imagine the anime on yeah. your wall. You, you know what? I I would always imagine that I'm talking in front of an audience. It's crazy,、okay. but you know, I always do that. Yeah. Right. That's pretty. That's so, pretty cool, though. You have the whole audience of anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anime character. I'm talking Naruto. Like, yo, Naruto, shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier, you said like how you know you, you made like pitch accent mistakes. So did you actually like study pitch accent and focus on that? Um, I started pretty recently. I think it's because of Dolgen's video.、Um, I became aware of pitch accent after I watched Dolgen, but. Um, I didn't study until last year. I actually、um, borrowed a book from the library based on his recommendation.、Uh, not actually based on his recommendation. I was just trying to find something pitch accent in the library. I found it, and I'm like, "Wait, this is the book that Dawkins been talking about." I'm like, "I should read this." And when I read it, it blew myself away. But I realized that I knew a lot of these accents without actually learning the rules. Like,、um, I just keep keep listening to the, you know. To how to say it, I keep doing immersion, both posted it, and、um, I came out, I guess eighty percent okay with the pitch accent. Sometimes I still, you know, make mistakes with it. So like it's got or it's got, you know.、Mm. I did the mistake with my friends that day. It's like, you know, it's got naka naka aru, naka nani nani aru, and like someday there will be something, but it ends up becoming the fifth of、right. the calendar. So it's like, yeah.、Hmm. It's weird. I, th- I feel like <clears throat> Japanese people can more get away with with pitch accent mistakes. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I don't know. Like, I guess, I guess the same. They're people, right? If you make mistakes, you sound more native. Yeah. I think pitch accent is also the same thing, especially. Nandoro kanjo komete ko hanasu. Right, right. Like if if you put your feeling into it, you start to lose. Like for example, like ohayo zaimas. Like that's how the pitch accent, right? But people say ohayo zaimas or like something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Kind of like that. True. True. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like,、um, do you have any advice for people trying to get to like that、uh, native level? Like, would you would you suggest like now that you've gone this far, would you suggest people to do something different, or would you tell people to do the same thing that you did? Definitely not. I guess、um, learning methods is different, you know, with people. But if I were to give an advice, I personally think I don't know if this is true.、Mm. I personally think that、um, if You started the way I started, like meaning you do a lot of immersion, and also aware that pitch accent is a thing. I think you can be good, like as my level, like probably in two to three years. At maybe at least one, if you're doing it really well, maybe a year or two years. Which is why I'm not so proud when people say that. Oh, you sound so native. I'm like, I already learned for ten years. Of course, I have to sound this way. Not like、yeah. it's not ten years, right? So. Right. Um, I personally think that I could have been better. I could have spent more time with the Japanese and get good with it. But、um, yeah, this is where I am right now after ten years.、Uh, I'm not so proud of it. Yeah. Right. I mean, you, well, people can say what they want. So. <laughs> right. I mean, you brought up the the three year point, which is actually something very common with a lot of our guests that come on as a point where they're like, okay, yeah, we feel really good with the language. I almost think of it as like an anime character getting out of the anime training arc. You know. <laughs> <Yeah> . I saw the tweet. I saw someone's tweet. I can't remember who. Oh, don't worry. That was, was my tweet. Yeah. <laughs>、oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. It like, I think it was ten hours ago. I can't remember. Yeah, I saw that. I'm dropping the time、like, stamps.、Yeah, okay.、Yeah. You should know、that's、when、true. all his tweets. You should know all of our tweets. Yeah. Yeah.、Exactly. There will be periodic quizzes throughout the interview. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Oh no. <laughs> Way.、No, I can't do this. I just followed you guys from last year. I can't remember everything. Yeah. <laughs> But I agree with that. Yeah, sometimes you do that, you know, comeback thing. Yeah,、right. it's like Luffy was, you know, thrown away by Bartholomew Kuma to the to the island, and he practiced, and then he came back, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. I, I agree. Exactly. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a One Piece fan. So <laughs> <laughs> One Piece is the, the key, key to fluency. fluency. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> the key to fluency is One Piece. Yeah. Exactly. One piece. It's a, it's a common thread. It's not the first time we've heard that. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, oh, good, good.、Uh, I feel good. Do you、now. think it's、Thanks. possible to get completely fluent Japanese only using One Piece, like no other immersion? Oh, definitely、oh. no. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> I mean, it's not every day that you you know you your your body is rubber or you know it's not really. It's not every day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is why I always tell my students to like watch. I guess um, what do you call that? Slice of life. Okay. Right. Yeah, you know, so that you can so, get the best form of immersion. Well, like, yeah, like in, what? In like opinion. what? For example, I actually don't watch. So. <laughs> <laughs> I got recommended, you know. I got recommended. People say that you know, slice of life is much closer to like how to say daily life conversation. Yeah, I watch a lot more of action and stuff like that, and and I listen to podcasts. So, yeah, right, right. But the Korekara I can give podcast, you podcast right? recommendation. Yeah. The the Korekara, right? Korekara. Number one is you yeah, know, Korekara. <laughs> yeah, Korekara podcast. I love Number two podcast. is is also. Korekara Kore yeah, podcast. Right. There, <laughs> you go. Yeah, yeah, there, there we go. go. <laughs> there you go. Right, right. Three times the charm, yeah. right? Yeah, number oh, three is Korekara exactly. podcast. There that's, you go. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, if I were to recommend a podcast, I think um, right now I'm listening to Enubaku. So Enubaku is she's um, a nurse, but she's doing like a, some sort of like a mental support kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, psychological stuff, and yeah, it's it's really fun to listen to the podcast. I also listen to Umeli's podcast as well. Um, yeah, so that's my condition right now. But I listen to more English podcasts. So right. yeah, the, yeah, the Korekara, Korekara Kore podcast. Yeah. Korekara, yeah, 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 Korekara. Korekara. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know how to read my yeah. mind. <laughs> I guess. What do you think about anime? Using anime to study Japanese versus uh, like dramas or like sh- reality shows, like Terrace House or podcasts? Do you think? Do you think there is a you, difference? You know what's funny. You know what's funny is that I actually didn't start with anime. I actually started with Gakitsukai. You guys know that show? I don't. Know. It's um the famous one. Maybe you guys have seen it, like uh, Zetai ni Warate wa Ikenai, Mizu Yozikan Special. Like um, you, you guys yeah, know yeah. that? Yeah. It's by com- a bunch of comedians called Gaki Gakinotsukai. So Japanese people would say Gakitsukai um, instead of the no. So it's a Gakitsukai. So I I started with that actually, and it was a very, let's just say, um, adult theme show. But I watched it when I was like I I think I was ten or nine years old with my brother. Right. What a responsible brother! But you know, <laughs> back in the days I was like twelve and I played Counter Strike or something like that. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I watched that and I'm like, I want to know what these guys are saying. But the first, ex- I guess, the first exposure of myself to Japanese was like the Kansai band, and then um, I gradually got more interested to it, and then to a point that you know, I I'm glad that I was in a Uh, I guess a Kansai band, half Kansai band, um, in Japan. So in hindsight, I'm, I'm glad that I know it from Gaki Sky first. But then I go to anime. If if you were to ask me which one is better, is it like variety show or uh, drama? I I guess I I can't really tell you because like there are parts of drama that you can use in daily life, and there are parts of anime that you can use in daily life as well. So I guess it depends on which drama or which anime you're watching. At least that's in my opinion. Right, I see. Just not slice yeah. of life for you, for for yeah. everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> for everyone else, slice of life. For me, I'm, I'm gonna take my drama. Man. I only know two dramas. It's like Sanne Gumi and um, I've seen that. What is that? Bloody Monday. There you go. Oh, I haven't seen that. But yeah, yeah. I... you guys need re- you guys need to recommend me in some drama. I, I I'm not good with drama, so. I can recommend you a podcast. <laughs> no. I was just going to say. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know about the drama. The the drama. <laughs> yeah. You've been in Japan now for three years. How was it like going there already knowing Japanese? Were you? Was it an easy transition? It was not an easy transition because I was in Kagawa, and right. Kagawa people they use um, Sanuki Ben. Right. So san- they use Sanuki Ben a lot. I really don't know. Like I was like, "Koko aruyan, aruyan." I'm like. What, what do you mean by Aruyang? Oh, Arujang. Is that what you mean? Okay, okay, now I understood you. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Right. So it's really hard. It took me like maybe one to two months to like fully transition uh-huh. and to be able to use the the band. It's right. pretty close to San, um, Kansai band as well because it borrows a little bit of the rules with right. it as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, yeah, it was not an easy transition. That's why I want you to say. I guess like um, also one thing is that um, li- having living there, Have you ever met somebody who's like better than you or just as good as you who's learned Japanese? Uh, a foreigner? Yeah, you mean? yeah, yeah. No, 
I'm the best in the game. I'm the Uchiha Madara of Japanese. I'm just kidding. Uh, have I met? Like, uh, um, better online, than Japanese people. Yes. Oh. Yeah. oh, better than Japanese people. Hmm. I guess never. I I probably met people. Some people online. Right. You know, I think better Japanese than myself. Like who? You know. Like Mr. Korekara. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm there kidding, we go. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But um, I mean, obviously, you have a really good Japanese. I've heard you you speaking Japanese.、Uh, there was this episode. You guys were interviewing the、um, the teacher who had the longest hours in Italki. Right. 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 And I heard like, wow, that's such a good Japanese right there. Like the pitch accent, he nailed it as well.、Hmm. Um, Mr. Korekara. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you? <laughs> okay. Have you met people who are like? Better than you in real life. This is such a narcissistic. <laughs> I if I say no, I sound. Like,、um, <laughs> no, 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 you won't、um, sound like a narcissist. Trust me.、Yeah. Um, the first year, yes, I have met someone who's better than me. His his name is Non from Thailand.、Um, he he learned in Jasso for like I think a year, and then he moved here. I, I was like, wow, his Japanese is really good and stuff like that, right? But after like two to three years of like learning Japanese, I I can feel myself like having. I'm not saying that I'm better than him, but better in certain aspects, and he is better than myself in certain aspects. Because my chokai ryuk, um, my listening skill is not really good compared to my speaking skill. So yeah, I think it stems from the fact that when I when I listen to people talking, I don't listen to the content. I listen to how they're saying it. You know, yeah, that's. That's pretty much my mistake, but yeah, I'm trying to change that. So wait, wait so like, what, what do you mean? Like you're listening to how they're saying it, not the content. Ever since when I was in in secondary school, when I listen to like my math teacher talking,、yeah. I I tend to listen how she's saying it, her body movement and stuff, and I try to do like impression out of it to like make a laugh out of my friends,、mm. and it worked really well. And and I think that is also one of the reason why I can pick Japanese sounds quite fast, I guess. And the pitch accent as well, which is why I got fluent quickly. I guess a little bit of my talent as well.、Um, but the the drawback is、um, instead of focusing to what they're saying, I'm focusing to what how how they're saying it, like the pitch accent or some or or intonation.、Mm. I hyper focus on that, which is it could be good and it could be bad as well. So in my case, it it worked completely well for me. I see. Yeah, and I guess、um, that might this might be. The the time, it's the time. What? All right. All right. What the time for what? Kaiwa coaching. Kaiwa. <laughs> I'm I'm using your full name here, Kaiwa coaching. <laughs> this is this is the time. I'm gonna shine the lights bright onto you right here, Kaiwa. In in、this、native is, Japanese. In, in native Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Native Japanese. Native Japanese. Yes. Yes. We are, we are, really we're limiting it to native、right、Japanese.、Now. We're not allowing any other、oh, okay. type of kotaka. Nothing、usage. else.、Yeah. Definitely no pressure. No, like it has to be native though. Not, not at all. Yeah, not at all. no pressure, but it has to be native, like fully. But but no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what, what? What? Is this the message? Yeah, the message. This is the message. message.、Yeah. To people who's learning Japanese, right? Right. 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 Okay. Okay. So,、uh, Nihongo Gakushu sa. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Right now. Uh, uh, Nihongo no Gakushu sa no mina sama e. Eh, to. 頑張って努力して日本語を勉強してください。えっ、ー、と努力をなんだろうやめずにねどんどん進めてください。はいそれだけです。えどうやって努力すればいいですか。<笑>ちょっと知りたいんですけど。うん没頭したり<笑>えっとまあいろんなことをしたりいろんなことをなんかすごい一般なことをするんだけどんなんだろうえっ、ー、と本読んだりポッドキャスト聞いたり。まあいろんなことをこうなんだろう入力とアウ,アウトプットウェイ入力と出力をえっ、ー、とどんどん重ねていくっていうのが一番大事だと思いますなのでまあなんだろうツイッターとかでやっぱりインプットの方がいいのかアウトプットの方がいいのかっていうのがっていう討論とかあるんですけれどもでも結局最後にやらないといけないんですよ何回もこの討論を聞いても自分にはそのなんだろう影響なくて。やっぱり自分で勉強すれば、その今今さら始めなければならないんです。私が思います。なので、どんな勉強し方がいいんだろう、どんな勉強し方が良くないだろうっていう考え
をなんかその夢中に考えたらもう勉強はどうでもならないんですなので頑張ってください Hey guys, thanks for making the end of the podcast. Comment down below if you thought that he was native level just now. And peace.